fall nitrogen applications have traditionally been very important on a lot of farms across the United States and around the world. A lot of people just look at, okay, what's the soil temperature? And if the soil temperature is 50 or less, now I'm good to go. Well, that's only one part of what we want you to focus on. Today, we're going to talk about many things that you should look at on your farm before you apply fall nitrogen. One thing that I'll start with, Brian, is a word of caution. One of the things that's happening in politics today is that people are watching nitrate levels in water and normally this is something that you're going to see out there all the time but when farmers are applying nitrogen people in town don't necessarily understand what we're doing exactly and why and why we would do it now so they're certainly looking at nitrate levels around areas where farming is being done so do be cautious and know exactly how much nitrogen you really need to be putting out there and you don't want to overdo it for sure. Yeah, and the big thing here is know what your soil can hold. Because let's face it, all these non-farmers want to talk about farmers over-applying fertilizer, and I say, that's ridiculous. Have you ever met a farmer that wants to waste money? I don't think so. So you've got to understand what's your cation exchange capacity in your soil. For example, if your cation exchange capacity, or CEC number, is 8, just multiply whatever that number is times 10. That'll tell you roughly how much nitrogen your soil can hold at any one time. So if your CEC is 8, multiply it times 10, that's 80 pounds. Well, if there's already 40 pounds sitting out in the soil, you tested your soil, there's 40 pounds sitting there, we'd tell you, you can only put 40 pounds on. You can't put 100 on, you can't put 200 on. You've got a very, very high chance of losing a bunch of that nitrogen. So look first at cation exchange capacity. Well, along with that, Brian, comes the question, are there some things I could do to possibly put just a little bit more? Maybe I don't like my cation exchange capacity in this field, and I say, man, I don't want to just apply 50 pounds in a CEC of 5. I'd like to put on 70 pounds out there for whatever reason. Could I put a nitrogen stabilizer and be able to apply a little bit more? Now, here's the thing. Whenever you make that application of nitrogen, that's it. That's the last day that you really have control of what's going on out in the field. Now you're subject to what happens with weather. So will a nitrogen stabilizer help you a little bit? Absolutely. It will definitely help you a little bit, but will it help you for six months on way over applying what you can hold in that soil? Definitely not. So there is a fine line here. If you're pushing it just a little bit, it can help you, but if you're pushing it a lot, no way. The next thing you need to take a look at is what form of nitrogen are you going to apply? We used to put on a lot of anhydrous ammonia in the fall, and the reason why we did this is because when you put that anhydrous in the ground, right away it turned to ammonium, and ammonium is the nice, stable form of nitrogen. That's also the form that plants prefer to bring in. They can bring in nitrate too, but they prefer to bring in ammonium. Now that anhydrous ammonia is let's just say not banned but used an awful lot less we can't even source any locally for us here in south dakota anymore okay well now people say all right well i want to put urea on in the fall nah, i wouldn't do that i want to put 28 percent on in the fall i wouldn't do that either so the only form that we really liked in the fall was anhydrous ammonia hey brian you mentioned that but i, I do know a number of farmers that like to put just a little bit of 28 percent out there trying to help break those stalks down a little bit more. Now, when you look at corn stalks out in a field, you've got something that's about 60 parts of carbon to one part of nitrogen. And for the microbes in the soil to break that down, we need that ratio to be a lot closer, maybe down in the 12 to 14 to one ratio. So to get there, farmers need to put a little bit of nitrogen on or do some tillage and get some soil up on this residue. Either way, putting a small amount of nitrogen out there is fine. You're going to have lots of residue out there to tie that up to allow those microbes to start doing their job. Just to clarify here, the reason why we like ammonium and ammonium forms applied in the fall is because ammonium is positively charged, soil is negatively charged. A positive and a negative attract, so that ammonium isn't going anywhere. What we worry about is when the nitrogen source is already in the nitrate form or will convert to the nitrate form pretty quickly. Nitrate can leach pretty easily, and the reason why is because nitrate is negatively charged. Your soil is negatively charged, a negative and a negative repel, so that nitrate can flush out of that system pretty quickly. And again, the big thing here, and the reason why we're talking about this today is we want you to be ultra careful about all your fall nitrogen applications so you don't lose it. It's an environmental concern, and certainly it is a worry for your pocketbook. We don't want you losing money. I've got two last points here. First of all, 
Never put fall nitrogen out on ground that can flood. You just, like Brian said, have to be ultra conservative about this. If you've got some ground that's high and dry, that's heavy ground, sure, you can put some fall nitrogen out there, but just be cautious about that. And then the last thing is if you say, well, hey, I just wanna eliminate that job in the spring. I'm gonna get everything all out there in the fall. Boy, I would really caution you here. We've got some heavy ground. We're in an area of the country that normally doesn't get a huge amount of rainfall. I don't like putting everything out there. It just limits your choices down the road for one. If you say, boy, I can't get corn in on time. Now I'm gonna put soybeans in and I've got a full load of nitrogen. I don't really like that very much. Uh, the other thing would, would be, you just do have a risk of some loss. So getting a portion of that nitrogen out is great putting a huge amount of nitrogen out there and trying to cover your whole needs with a fall app, I think is pretty risky. Well, once again, we just really encourage you with fall nitrogen applications, obviously you gotta look at the form and when you're gonna apply, try to apply as late as possible in the fall, but look hard at your cation exchange capacity number and don't exceed 10 times your CEC for your total amount of nitrogen in that soil. That's kind of the limit, that's certainly our limit for what we would ever recommend to you. We definitely have some limits on weeds as well. We don't want to see any of our Weed of the Week out in the field. Can you identify this week's weed?